What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. You know what, man? I like that fight with uh, Charlo and Danny Garcia, too, man. That, that, that ain't a bad fight at all. Uh, I, I would have to lean towards Charlo in that fight, but uh, I tell you this much. Danny Garcia can hit now. Uh, he, he, he got power. You know, if Charlo get too comfortable, they can, you know, because Danny ain't the, the fastest guy in the world, uh, but I have never seen Danny knock down either. Danny take a good punch. Just like he give one, uh, I, I, I would favor Charlo in that fight, but he, he, he better keep his motherfucking hands up. I tell you that much, uh, cause don't, don't, don't let that pretty boy shit fool you. Uh, Danny Garcia can crack. I mean, he got some hard, he, he hit hard, uh, I have noticed that his whole career, now, if, if it ain't nothing else about him that you gonna like, he, he punch hard. I mean, with both hands, to the right or the left, it don't really make no difference. He got a good left hook and a mean overhand right, so you don't really want to get caught with that one of them too many times. Uh, like I said, it, it, it'd be hard for me to see him beat Charlo just because of the size, and Charlo take a pretty good punch, you know, and uh, he been in there with some big punches at the 154-pound division already, so Danny Power won't be nothing he ain't seen before, especially with him sparring on a regular basis with Arrow like he do. So I would have to lean towards Charlo in that fight, but it would be one he better damn take serious if he was to get in that fight because uh, you, you fuck around and let Danny get off with them big shots. It, I mean, I think if he if he get hit anybody right too many times, they ain't going to be uh, take too many of them. Uh, but I, I, I really have a hard time seeing him beat Charlo at 154, but... If I was Charlo, I would I would take that fight in a heartbeat uh, to 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 put that Fondura fight off as long as possible because that's the one, that's the one I would be worried about at 154 that 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 big Sebastian Fondura with that 82 inch uh, reach and uh, and all them punches he like to throw and him a southpaw that's the that that's the boogeyman at 154 in my in, in my opinion uh that would be the one if 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 if. If he gonna avoid somebody, that might be the one to uh, kind of stay clear of for a while, you know. Uh, unless you know you're ready to get in there and put some big shots on him and knock him out, cause that ain't nobody you want to go twelve rounds with, not with that reach and and him being the southpaw and the number of punches he like to throw. He a problem for anybody from 147 to 160, in my opinion, you know, uh, just because of his size and reach. If you can't get in there and hurt him, you gonna have a problem with this boy. If you can't hurt him and hurt him fast, you're going to have a problem with him because uh, he got some tricky uppercuts on the inside for him to be tall as he is. Uh, I mean, he can fight on the inside and the outside. So if I was Charlo and shit, I'd hurry up and take that Danny Garcia fight. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, well, but that's it for me on this one. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.